This is Twit. HTC announced a small range of new products yesterday, including a smartphone called the Desire I, which is optimized for selfies, selfies the Desire 610, which is optimized for cheapness, and the ReCamera, which looks like an asthma inhaler. Dan Seifert is reviews editor for The Verge, and he joins us to tell us all about this announcement. Welcome to you, Dan Seifert. Hi, thanks for having me. Well, thank you for being here. Now, are you impressed with the Desire Eye? Let's start with the Desire Eye. Now, who's going to buy this phone? You know, uh, it's funny because uh, as a phone itself, the Desire Eye is actually a really nice mid-range phone that's got great performance, a great screen, great build quality, and it looks cool. Um, so if you judge it on those characteristics, it's going to be a really attractive phone for someone who doesn't necessarily want to spend as much money for, say, the M8 from HTC or another high-end Android phone. Um, but that's not really what the marketing angle is around this. The marketing angle is all about that giant camera on the front of it to take selfies, uh, which is the same camera that's actually on the back of it. It's the first smartphone that has a 13 megapixel front facing camera and, it, and HTC is using that on the front and back of the phone. And this surprises me. It surprises me that this is the first company. It seems to me that obviously people take a lot of selfies. They take a lot of pictures out of the front of the camera. And, um, and so it's long overdue, in my opinion. Uh, now let's talk about the other features that are related to this, namely that there's a flash on the front of the camera. Is that unique <laughs> to this phone? Uh, it is unique for HTC, at least. I think it's the first one from HTC. I think some other manufacturers might have put uh, other types of lights or flashes on the front of the phone. Um, this, if this is unique in that the same flash is on the front as it is on the back. So it's got uh, what I believe HTC calls it a duotone flash or something like that. That's got two LEDs there. It's supposed to balance the light better and make better color. Um, but the reality of the matter is if you are holding this phone in front of your face, maybe a foot and a half or two feet away, and you fire the flash, you are going to get blinded by an LED light. <laughs> like, there's just no getting around that. Well, you know, whatever it takes to get a good selfie. Um, <laughs> the, the iPhone now has a has a significantly smaller camera in terms of the resolution, in terms of the in terms of the megapixel count, uh, and yet uh, early reports suggest that the uh, iPhone six takes significantly better front-facing selfie pictures. Why is that? Why did they choose to go for the sort of high high resolution uh, without really making it a high quality picture? Yeah, that's a very good question. You know, I, I compared, I had spent some time with the Desire Eye and I was able to test the selfies in both good daylight scenarios and really poor low light conditions. And outdoors in daylight, the selfies look amazing. They're really sharp, great color, lots of detail, but those are kind of easy conditions to do. Uh, once you get into a dark uh, environment, say like a dim restaurant or sometime at night or whatever, uh, the Desire Eyes images were significantly darker and softer and just not as nice looking as um, what the iPhone 6 produced, which were much brighter. They showed a lot of grain and maybe some noise, but uh, it was a much better image, even though it wasn't nearly as high of a resolution. Uh, and it's, it's interesting that HTC decided to uh, put such a high megapixel camera on the front as opposed to something that maybe is better uh, suited for uh, low light performance that doesn't have as high a resolution but provides a better low light uh, image. And what is HTC's eye experience? Their eye experience is kind of uh, built around the Desire Eyes new camera, even though it will be coming to their other phones. It's their, essentially their new camera app. They've taken their camera app, they've added a whole bunch of new features that are focused around the things that people are taking photos with on their phones. So a lot of selfie focused images. If you're familiar with um, the front back app on iOS, which allows you to take a picture with the front uh, camera as well as the rear camera at the same time to kind of get like a reaction shot to what you're seeing. Uh, HTC has added that in. Uh, there's there's a couple of things like you can uh, ha take use the front camera to insert yourself into the the, the scene that the rear camera is capturing, uh, which is kind of gimmicky. Uh, and they've done some video chat stuff. So if you are on a video call with say four people, uh, the camera will actually zoom in on their faces and frame them up nicely nicely automatically for you. Let's talk about the HTC Desire 610. Now this is just my opinion, but it's, this seems to be one of the least desirable phones I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> it's a low quality, cheap looking phone. The materials look cheap. Everything about it looks shoddy. And yet it's not as inexpensive as superior Android phones that are pretty widely available. Why does this phone exist and why does HTC think anyone will buy this phone? 
Yeah, that's a that's another great question. <laughs> you know, uh, it's uh, there's a lot of stiff competition in that area, and and I think uh, you're probably referring to something like the Moto G, which is a really impressive, low cost Android phone that doesn't really compromise on experience, but it doesn't cost you a fortune either. Uh, and you know, Motorola has been very successful with that device, uh, especially in emerging markets where um, the average smartphone buyer maybe isn't ready to spend six or seven hundred dollars on a device. Uh, and you know, HTC wants to be a part of that. Uh, and it's trying to lean on the things that's generally traditionally been good at, such as design and maybe hardware build quality and stuff like that. The Desire 610 does look like a mini version of uh, HTC's higher end uh, M8 line, um, maybe without the metal build quality and without the really great screen and things like that. Um, but it's 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 a hard game to play in, and I think uh, you know HTC is going to have some trouble really making this make a big dent for customers but uh carriers are always asking for phones across the spectrum and I, it seems to me like the 610 uh is one of those phones that HTC was, was fulfilling the the wishes of carriers on mm. sounds like a big mistake to me now let's talk about the re camera why do they make a camera that looks like a submarine periscope what's the advantage of that <laughs> A submarine periscope or an asthma inhaler, you know, it's been called quite a few different things. Uh, the idea behind their design is that this is supposed to be more ergonomic to use than, say, a GoPro, which is what everybody's going to compare it and everybody has compared it to. Uh, the GoPro is kind of blocky and chunky, whereas this is rounded and smooth and you hold it in your hand and it's uh, supposed to be very simple and easy to use and it doesn't interfere with you living in the moment, as HTC says. Uh, it's got a very simple interface. It's only got two buttons. There's no screen. There's no viewfinder. There's no graphical interface with this. You just kind of hold it up and push the buttons to take pictures and record video. Um, and HTC is billing this as a better way to take photos than using your smartphone, um, which you have to pull out of your pocket and open the camera app and look at the phone to compose your shot. Uh, I'm not sure I really buy that. Um, a lot of people are used to carrying their smartphones all around with them all the time. Obviously, people take loads of photos with their smartphones. It's not a, a foreign thing for people. Uh, and HTC is essentially asking them to carry another device to take photos that may or may not be as good as what their smartphone can already do. Well, for one thing, it enables uh, the taking of meta selfies. You can take a picture of yourself taking a selfie, which is uh, <laughs> always uh, useful. Now, what are the built-in storage options and removable card options? So it, I, I, as far as I understand, it doesn't actually have any built-in storage. It's shipping with an 8 gigabyte micro SD card. Uh, and there's a micro SD card slot, of course, and it will support up to 128 gigabytes. Uh, it can record 1080p video at 30 frames per second. There's a slow motion mode, so you can do 720p video at, at uh, 120 frames per second. And uh, it takes 16 megapixel stills. Uh, the, the, the thing that HTC is really trying to sell is that it's got this ultra wide angle lens. It's, it's I believe, even wider than the default lens on GoPro cameras, uh, which is supposed to make it easy so that you don't have to worry if you're going to cut someone's head off or not get the shot that you're looking for. Um, but ultra wide angle lenses have their own issues with maybe capturing too much of the scene and you don't want all this extra stuff on the side of your frame if you're trying to take a nice photo. Definitely. Well, Dan Seifert lives on TheVerge.com and you can follow him on Twitter at DCS. E-I-F-E-R-T. Thanks so much for joining us, Dan. Thank you.